Welcome back, this is Dash again, and uh, this is video number four in reference to the Traxxas Boss 302 VXL with the Viennalin uh, brushless motor setup. Uh, so this is the fourth part of the series, and these wheels are probably, I think this was the third or fourth set that I bought, and these wheels, were this combination here, and again, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty good looking combination. All right, I, I like the way these wheels and tires set off. I like the uh, the lip that's on the wheels there. Rather realistic. Again, I'll take the body off so it's a little easier for you to see. Okay, now these wheels were a wheel and tire combination. Okay, the wheel itself and the tire. The wheels and the tires had to be glued, or the tires had to be glued onto the onto the wheels. I had never had any experience, or I had not had any experience prior to doing this with this. So at the hobby store, my local hobby shop, I had to purchase some glue. This is Maxi Cure Thick, blah, blah, blah. There's different cure times and, and weights and all of that stuff. So this was uh, $3.29. Again, I'm in the US, so $3.29 US. This wheel and tire combination was a little more expensive because of the fact that I had to buy the wheels and then the rubber separate. I think this combination might have cost between $30 and $40. It might have been about uh, $15 to $20 for the wheels themselves and probably another $5 to $15 or $10 to $15 for the tires. Okay. Again, I believe this was a set that I had to buy two wheels and then two tires. It, I don't believe it came all four matching. All right. Uh, again, this was my first time ever dealing with something like this. You can look at this wheel here. You can see there's glue all on the outside there. And it's, you know, kind of chewed up. The whole thing is, because I had never done this before, I didn't do a really good job in gluing the wheel on. So one of the, you know, the, the centrifugal force, it just, it's either centrifugal or centripetal. I would have to look it up to figure it out. But the force of the spinning of the wheel separated the rubber from the actual, or the force of the spinning of the tire separated the tire from the wheel and actually cornering and other things like that, flipping the car over, uh, chewed up the wheel to the point where I had to re-glue it. And I re-glued, the wheels that I have on the back are the ones that I run more often, okay? And I, the reason I know I can I run them more often is because they're the ones that are chewed up most. And you see that the ones in the front, I figured I would kind of try and save, I don't know what for exactly, but I know that the next time I run it and I run it hard, they're just gonna get chewed up too. I do not run these wheels very often because of the fact that these wheels, they say super slick, they should really read super sticky. The first time I ran these wheels, I ran the car down the street and you know, I'm, I'm on asphalt, so I'm out you know, in the middle of the street running the car and I went to turn it, okay? And the tires are so sticky that when I'm driving straight and I turn the wheel, the car flipped over. Okay, these tires are so grippy that they flip over. Whenever I ran these tires, I would usually just run two in the rear to help get the car moving. Okay, and I would run two of the uh, the slicks, the super hard rubber up front to make sure that the car would push left and right so that it would slide across the ground as opposed to flipping over um, because it seemed like every time I would turn the wheel with these slicks on all four corners, the car would flip. So, uh, if you haven't, make sure you check out the other videos. The obviously this is the video for the uh, super slick rubber. All right, we have the super hard drift compound. We have the super hard uh, slick rubber that came on the car factory, and we have the indoor use uh, super drift. If you haven't already, click. <laughs> click those uh, click each wheel and you'll be taken to that video thanks for watching